Welcome to this video cast about how to upgrade MySQL and cluster from 8.0.11 to 8.0.12. So first we have a running MySQL and ADB cluster, 8.0.11 here, with three members, MySQL1, MySQL2 and MySQL3. So we're going to see, we're going to check what's version in it and we're going to use performance schema for this. So I'm connecting on one of the members and I use performance schema here to see what's the version of each um, members. So as you can see, they are all 8011 and we're going to upgrade them all to 8012. The primary master is MySQL 1 and uh, when you upgrade a NodeDB cluster, if you want to stay alive, you need to upgrade them one by one and to end with the primary. So here what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade MySQL 3, then MySQL 2 and finally MySQL 1 and change the primary master. So we're going to connect uh, to MySQL 3 because before stopping the cluster, the, the node and upgrading the binaries, there is one thing we need to do. So we're going to use set persist in SQL to modify one setting. And this setting is we're going to prevent MySQL to start group replication at boot. So we're going to do set persist group replication start at boot. And we're going to put it uh, to zero. So now, next time I'm going to restart MySQL, it won't start group application and it won't try to join the group. So we stop MySQL. We can see that we have MySQL 2 and MySQL 1 only. And MySQL 3 is missing from the cluster and on group application is not there anymore. Now we can upgrade the, the package. So we're going to run MySQL uh, update and we're going to update the MySQL community server and a MySQL shell. Always use the latest shell, even if you don't use the latest um, server version. So here I have uh, everything has been installed. We're going to start MySQL D. Remember, it won't uh, join the group because Groovication won't start. And then we can run MySQL upgrade. So if we check the status, MySQL started, but it's not joining the group. We can then run MySQL upgrade. So we did it. Now we can change again uh, the setting to uh, restart a MySQL um, group application at, on boot. So this is what we're going to do using again set persist. As you can see, the new shell allows us to save some password, the password. So we did it. So now I will change set persist. So set persist. Group replication start on boot and I will put it on one, which is true, right? I could also start replication directly, but this is not recommended. Now it's better to restart because after a MySQL upgrade, it's always recommended also to restart the server. So this is what I'm doing here. So I'm restarting, I'm using the SQL command to restart. And you see, after restart, it joined automatically the group. And if we check the version, it's now 8.0.12. So MySQL 3 is now uh, up, uh, updated to 8.0.12. So now we're going to do for MySQL 2. So I will do exactly the same. So I will tell him to not start group replication at boot. I will stop MySQL D. And I will upgrade the uh, MySQL community server and MySQL shell.
so we can see that now it's mysql2 missing and we can check in Cooper application uh, members that uh, mysql2 is not part of the group anymore Let's modify the query to have a better output. Short term is only what we need. So MySQL 3, 8.0.5, MySQL 1, 8.0.11. So now MySQL is installed. We're going to start MySQL D on MySQL 2. We're going to run again MySQL uh, upgrade. Here in this case, I will just connect with the shell and tell it next time I will start, I want to uh, uh, start the group application. So set persist, group application, start on boot equal one. So using set persist, as you may already know, I won't change my CNF. So now MySQL 2 is 8 or 12. And now I have to do it with MySQL 1. So exactly the same. Set persist complication uh, start on boot value to zero. So we can run MySQL upgrade. We stop MySQL. We can see MySQL 1 now. It's gone and it's MySQL 3 who took the role of primary. So we're gonna upgrade again the packages from the repository. Typo. So it will install 8.0.12, remove 8.0.11. Okay, let's do it. We can check on the cluster, of course, that now we only have MySQL 3 and MySQL 2 that are part of the cluster. Okay, so we can see MySQL 3 is read write and MySQL 1 is missing. So installation is now down. I will start MySQL D. Once again, 8.0.12 allows me to save the password, which I do. I will already modify set persist and group application start on boot to one, so next time it will allow to, to restart it, right? Before we start, I don't forget my SQL upgrade. Okay. 
we can restart because after a MySQL upgrade we always need to restart we can restart because we already changed um, to tell it that it starts on boot before we did the MySQL upgrade and now it will join okay it's online we can see that now we can check the members primary did, doesn't didn't switch it's still MySQL 3 of course and are all 8012 so this is how we can upgrade very uh, safely the InnoDB cluster from 8011 to 8012. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you will use MySQL InnoDB cluster. Thank you.